step the cattle, you can see this cattle start around them, so you just step down their side, which causes them to move forward. As they come around, then you can step back toward them and put pressure on them to get them to move down the alleyway in the direction uh, you need them to go. That calf balked a little bit at the uh, drop down gate at the back, but that's normal, and then he went on forward. One good thing about the way this is actually set up, and you bring cattle like, like that, they're Even though that calf is trying to back up, its forward motion and overall motion is still forward, and so it's easier to get them into the head gate. And that's because it was their idea to enter that system. Got the calf up, squeeze down on his neck, and then you can tighten the sides of the chute in. And actually that tightening and squeezing calms the animal down. So it's actually a good idea to squeeze them, and that helps calm the animal down. The pole that he's putting behind him has ratchets up behind the cattle. That way if you release them or you need to stabilize them, they can't back up in the chute. Or if you have to do procedures behind them, uh, that keeps them from kicking you. And that bar cannot raise up and hit the person behind them. It's very safe when it's put in that kind of position. We've got the calf contained in here now, and we can start to do what we want to, whether this be vaccinations, possibly freeze branding, or anything along those lines. What we want to do is try and get everything up out of the way. So the we'll, first thing, we've got him squeezed in there. We'll get that up out of the way so we don't bang our heads or our shoulders. A lot of times, if you, you know, when you're working on animals, uh, you're going to do some freeze branding. And it's good to be able to have full access to get up to your chute close and not get hurt. You know, because the last thing you need is to be hurt when you're working around these animals. Typically, you know, we might be in here like this. We've got the animal contained and squeezed in here good enough because we're squeezing the rib cage of the animal, not trying to squeeze down on his pasterns. We'd be doing freeze branding in here. The animals get a little active when you've got them in here, so you need to have the animal in a good solid position. We might even squeeze it down a little more after he's relaxed in there a little bit if I was going to freeze and bring him in good and tight so that we can work with him. And this is a position we would have. So he's in there good and snug, he's not going to get hurt, and neither is the individual working with him. So we can close these back up. We've got him there. And he's good to go. Uh, we might open him back up now once we've got him, because he's in there terribly tight at the moment. We might loosen him back up just a little, there we go. And release him a little bit. Now if we wanted to do some vaccinations, we can open up our neck shot doors and come in here. We have really good access to the front part of the shoulder into the neck for beef QA, or we can even go down into the brisket and do some brisket shots, uh, which is kind of popular with a lot of people myself, being one. Uh, we can close that door back up, we're in good shape, we've got all that access taken care of. The animal is all done and over with. Generally a good thing is to leave that door closed behind him, we can put the bar in behind him and move it up a little closer behind him. That way when we open it up he doesn't have a tendency to run to the back of the sheet. Now I've got him where I want him in here. I can move forward now and I can take the ability now I'll release the tension on him a little bit. And just let him up a little bit and now we can release him out the head gate and he should want to move out nice and easy. There you go buddy. And out he goes and no damage to man or beast.